Even as a busy homeschool mom to four kiddos, homestead life, ministry full-time, all of the things, I am not a part of the 5 a.m. club. And instead, this is how my mornings go. Hey there friend, I'm Heidi with Heavenly Minded Home and I know that we see so many people raving about being part of the 5 a.m. club, right? Those are those people who are up at 5 a.m., they're getting all kinds of things done and we see so much talk about this from the business world of productivity to even just mom life and all of the things. And again, if in the season of life that works for you, Praise God, that's amazing. Wake up at 5 a.m., do all your things. That's wonderful. For some of us, it doesn't. And I think that there's kind of this feeling I see so often where if that's not your morning routine, you're kind of like lower tier. Like, well, look how productive I am. Look how much I'm getting done. And so therefore it's kind of implied that those of us who aren't waking up at 5 a.m. are kind of wasting our day away. And why don't we go that extra mile? And so I wanna share with you guys why I'm not a part of the 5 a.m. club and what my morning looks like instead because I think there is the heart of the matter here where those that are maybe doing that, where they are waking up super early and being super productive and getting all kinds of things done, maybe you need that in this season. Maybe you do need a little bit of that extra push to get up and get going. I mean, I go through seasons where I'm never at 5 a.m., but maybe more up at like 7, 7.30 and trying to be more productive and get things done. Sometimes there are seasons where you need that. There can be the opposite of that, where maybe you are laying around till noon every day and not getting anything done, and you kind of need to get up and not be so lazy and start pulling yourself together and be a little more proactive and intentional with your day. That might be the reality too. And so I think that there is kind of a sweet spot here that we can say, and it doesn't mean that you're any less than because you're not up at 5 a.m. You don't have this amazing routine. You're not, you know, running a mile and reading your Bible forever and checking off all of these boxes and completely cleaning your house before anyone even starts to stir. So I think that there is a balance and it is important. I know for me, when we left kind of corporate life and I didn't have to be, you know, up and in the city every morning, when we moved into this kind of new season of life and, you know, we started with having our own business and now we live out in the country and live a very, you know, kind of different life than what most would, we were very intentional with, I will not set my alarm. Like I don't have to set it anymore. So I'm absolutely not going to set it. And so for us, it was, you know what, I'm going to wake up slow. When I get up, I get up. Right. And when I get going, I get going. And it was such a beautiful transition period. And I think now all these years later, I really have fallen somewhere in the middle of, I want to be proactive and intentional with my home and pouring into my duties and taking care of the things that need to be taken care of. But I also love seeking the lovely in each and every day. And for me, this routine of like slowly rising, soaking in the day, soft little moments that are just beautiful is something that I really appreciate. So this is how a typical morning for me goes. I usually wake up, I have my watch that I wear to bed every night, and it has a vibration alarm that goes off at 7.30 every morning. What I love about that is it's a little nudge that I get of like, hey, morning's here, it's about that time. I usually, some days I don't even wake up to it. Sometimes I wake up, I go, okay, it's 7.30, I'll turn it off, and I lay in bed and I relax. I usually really start to wake up about 8, 8.30, and that's where I'm like, okay, I might lay there on my phone. I will be honest and say our family is all playing SimCity Build It. Um, all of us have it on our device. It's like a family game that we play, and so I usually will wake up. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, the first thing I do is I go to prayer, usually between that 7.30, 8 o'clock when I'm like waking up and I'm like, okay, God gave me today. Here's where we are. I kind of just like mentally go through that in that process as I'm waking up. When I actually like wake up, wake up, I will usually grab my phone, check my city, <laughs> add my stuff in there that I need to, because I know when I get up and come out, the kids and I are all going to sit down and talk about it. So I'll get on there. I'll check my stuff. And then I'm like, all right, I'm up. I'm awake. As soon as I wake up, go into the bathroom, I get dressed and ready. I just grab whatever dress is hanging up in the closet and I head in there, brush my teeth, wash my face, go to the restroom, you know, throw on a little bit of makeup, get dressed, um, run my fingers through my hair. I'm ready for the day. I love doing that because it literally takes me a few minutes. I just do it all in one go. And then it means I'm ready. So whatever it is that the day is going to throw at me, whether we have appointments, I have errands, we have things that are going to happen. Somebody shows up unexpectedly, something crazy happens. I'm ready for the day. And so I go in, I get myself ready. I come out, I just make my bed, open up the curtains, you know, kind of do a quick little tidy of the room. And that means that my room, which is usually the least visited room for me in our house, I'm kind of there in the morning and I usually don't really get back there until the end of the night. That means I've reset my space. I've gotten my space back to ready before moving on to whatever else it is the day is going to throw at me. So I've made my bed, opened the curtains, you know, I just, I'm, I'm feeling good. Everything's done. I can head out for my day. Now, depending on, you know, our nighttime routine, whatever it is that we've gotten done or haven't gotten done. Lately, the first thing I've been doing when I come out is I just found and I'm absolutely obsessed with my Lamp Berger. Now, this is the best gadget I have ever found in all of my years of trying to find gadgets to make my house smell lovely. This is the best thing in the whole wide world. It was a little pricey to purchase. I purchased a kit um, to get my first one, and now I just buy refill stuff, and it's super, super simple. But the Slant Berger is from France. It not only makes the room smell good. Hello, buddy. Hello. You coming to help? It not only makes your house smell good, but it purifies the air while it's burning as well. Our house smells phenomenal. I literally can turn this thing on for like 20 minutes and it just smells delicious. I love it. I'm telling you, we're kind of big smell people. And my husband especially is always like, find a good smell thing. We've done candles, candle warmers, wax warmers, incense, um, uh, essential oil diffusers, you name it. We've tried all the things. None of it ever really works like super, super well. Like there's things I like, but Lamp Berger, I'm telling you, especially if you have odors in your home, pets, things you, you know, maybe you're cooking stinky stuff or whatever you might have going on. This thing is phenomenal. I am absolutely obsessed. I could talk about it all day. I come out in the morning. Again, I'm waking up slow. My house is usually still pretty quiet. I might have a couple kids awake, but that's really it. Nobody's really stirring. It's usually about nine o'clock or so at this point. I come out, I light my Lamp Berger. I give it a couple minutes to heat up. It's got a little ceramic coil that it has to heat up for about two minutes. Give that a couple minutes. I lay my rugs out, you know, whatever the little kind of things are in the morning of just, you know, what did I leave out last night? Is there anything that needs to be tidied up, straightened up or whatever? I go and I blow the flame out. Ah, it's this beautiful, beautiful scent. Again, it's purifying the air and it gives off this beautiful scent. And there's something about just this slow, quiet morning where I'm had a great night's sleep, right? I'm up and ready to seize the day, but I'm slowly sinking into it and soaking up all the little bits and beauty around me in the process, right? It can be my plants in the house. I, I love having some, you know, orchids sitting around, especially springtime. You get that little pop of bloom and it's so beautiful. It now smells delicious. And I go straight into making my protein coffee. I've been on this protein coffee kick for a bit now and if you guys are wondering what we use I will link it all down below we found it is like the last 
American manufacturer that makes like healthy and natural products. And I've been getting the whey protein powder from them and it is amazing. I love it so much. Again, I will link the details down below if you're curious and you want to know. I make my protein powder in the morning. So I put like a scoop of that in with some milk, get it nice and frothy. And then I make my coffee using that as like my creamer. So I'm getting this amazing dose of protein first thing in the morning, but I'm also getting my cup of coffee. And so it really, again, is just these peaceful, slow rituals woven into my morning that, yeah, it's like nine going on 930. Maybe it's not like super productive, like a 5 a.m. club routine, but I love these rituals. I love getting up and getting ready. I love getting my bedroom back to ready before I leave it. I love having a beautiful scent filling my home. I love sitting down and making my cup of coffee. And then really, especially lately, it's springtime. It's beautiful out. If I could live outdoors, I would. And so bringing my coffee and sitting down outside is my favorite thing to do. Sometimes I go through periods where I really focus on getting work done early in the morning. That's where I feel productive and I wanna do that. That's great. Sometimes I do that. The weather is beautiful and being able to soak up some sunshine first thing in the morning just is so lovely. And so saying, you know what? I'm not going to worry about work right now. We don't even dive into homeschool first thing in the morning. I come sit down with my cup of coffee. Sometimes I have an earbud in and I'm listening to my Bible reading. Sometimes I have a book that I have from the library that I want to sit down and read. Um, sometimes I do nothing and I just sit out here and listen to my wind chimes and the birds and whatever it is. Sometimes I have some kids that are already up and they want to talk and, you know, kind of be there with one another. So whatever it is that the day is throwing at me, I love coming out here and sitting at our little patio set. I got it from the thrift store. I think I spent $15 on it. It's nothing fancy or crazy. Sometimes it's sitting in my super cozy chair here, but coming out here, drinking my coffee, soaking in some sunshine. It again is just this kind of very slow rhythm to open up and start our day. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, it's 930. I'm just now coming out here, sitting down but that's okay. I'm not in a rush, right? The, the day is going to bring what the day is going to bring. I'm going to have my things that I have to check off, but I enjoy the slow, peaceful introduction to my day. Once I come out, kiddos start waking up, you know, we start taking care of the animals and we go out and we get our great Pyrenees fed and the sheep get taken out. They've got a big fenced in pasture, but then we take them out and move them around to different areas of the property and they get to eat to their heart's content. And so all of that starts happening between 930 and 1030. You know, everybody starts kind of doing those things and making sure all the animals are taken care of. We get all the animals up here fed and we're ready. By that point, everybody's kind of gotten up. If the kiddos want a little bit of breakfast, they've eaten a little bit of something that they, um, you know, we're not huge breakfast people. Um, we kind of were on a kick with our carnivore diet where we did bacon and eggs every morning for quite a while. But even the kids, they kind of were just like, I don't even really want anything. Like I feel full with what we eat throughout the day. So we have some kids that'll maybe snack on a little something in the morning. But other than that, it's just very peaceful. I have my Google Home set up and so as at 10 o'clock every morning. I have it set up. We are doing a composer study. Um, this month we're studying about Chopin. So Chopin just comes on to our speaker and starts playing. If I don't have one of those playing, I just play one of our hymns of the homemaker, um, especially on the weekends. So soft music has filled the air. My Lamperge has been on, so it smells delicious we've soaked in some sunshine, right? I've listened to the birds sing. I felt the breeze, right? I've enjoyed my coffee. I've spent a little time either reading or listening to something or just having a conversation with the kiddos or my husband. And you know, it's hitting usually about that 11 ish window. And we're like, all right, let's start our day, right? Now's the time that we can check off the things that we need to check off. Kids have been playing, they've been on the trampoline or down with the sheep or kind of doing whatever it is that they're doing. And I understand that that's not maybe what everybody is putting out there, but that's quite literally how our days go pretty much every single day. Now, sometimes we might have an appointment or something that we need to go do. Some days we might be wanting to get out and go hiking. So by about 1030, we're like, all right, is everybody ready? By 11 o'clock we head out, we start hiking, but you're not going to see our family really doing much of anything. Usually before about 11 o'clock, 
we like the slow mornings. We like kind of taking our time and easing into it and not just rushing off for a busy day. We enjoy that part. By that, you know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, we kind of reset, we get everything back to ready. So if the kids have cooked something, we get the kitchen back to ready. Um, dishes have been put away from the dishwasher. Uh, any laundry that was sitting in the dryer gets separated and everybody puts their laundry away. So we make sure that we get our spaces back to ready and then whatever it is that we're ready to go tackle, by 11 o'clock, that's what we're off and what we're doing. But I think there is something so beautiful about looking and saying, hey, yes, I wanna be productive. I wanna be a good homemaker. I wanna tend my home. I wanna take care of the things that I need to take care of. But if doing that super early in the morning doesn't work for you, that's okay. You don't have to get up super early in the morning and do all of that. My kids, they don't like doing homeschool first thing in the morning. We oftentimes will even kind of start our homeschool day out here. If I'm sitting out here drinking my coffee, kiddos start coming out. We might start our Bible reading or start working. We're doing, um, we're all learning French right now as part of our study that we're doing. And so we might start kind of doing some of that stuff out here. But then it's like, all right, let's go ahead now, take a couple hours, let's get all our stuff done that we need to get done. What is our adventure today, right? Let's go and find that and enjoy whatever it is that God has put on our plates today. But I think it's okay to say, for some of us, we like slow mornings. You're right, I'm not out of bed before 9 a.m. pretty much ever, sometimes, not usually. I get up, I get ready, I do the things that I need to do, but then I come out and I soak it all in. I love seeing the beauty. I love sitting out here and watching the birds, you know, hearing our sheep, seeing what new flowers might have bloomed, you know, kind of enjoying the, the wind chimes and the breeze and just soaking up a slow morning to me is so lovely. I really do enjoy that. And again, this might not be every season of my life, but it's this current season. And so I wanted to share, you'll have to let me know, are you like the super early 5 a.m. -er, or are you more like, hey, I like the slow, I like the quiet, like I'm not rushed. Are you kind of one of us that is like, I actually could use a little more productivity and maybe need to pull it together a little bit more. I think there's something so wonderful about having a community, a space where we can come together and be like, you know what? I found somebody else that's a little more like me too. Maybe you have been feeling a little less than because you're not up at 5 a.m. and being super disciplined and doing those things. Again, for some people, you need that. And the season of life you're in needs that. But for some of us, we don't. And we're happy to be those guys crawling out of bed at like 9, maybe 9.30 even some mornings, getting our stuff done slowly and enjoying a quiet, simple morning. So it was nice to get to share with you all here today. We've got lots of fun things that we're working on around these parts. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye friends.